Hello guys, welcome back to the round 2 of Aptora Formula 1 Championship as hosted by SRO We are very near to the qualifiers who are starting right now And with me I have Ricardo Riva Hello everyone, how are you doing? So today as I said we will be in Silverstone We are all I think lined up in the pit lane to go, uh, to go out for the quali it's gonna be 15 minutes. We have just one uh, quality session, and as you can see, they are all lined up just to take the position. We have Nick Westy who's going out for first. Last time he did P4, not P5. He was slightly unlucky. Let's see. He's very quick. We are expecting lap times around 127. They should be there. And Nick can be one of the guy who can get the pole with Johnny Gutierrez. Absolutely, absolutely, Sam. Not to mention that um, the past race, Nick Westy was very unlucky. Maybe you yeah. said that already. And um, not to mention that we are very looking forward for this race because the first race uh, didn't go as we expected. <laughs> was was it, Sam? I mean, um, maybe this time around with more the rest, uh, and especially with the long straights, they can be fighting more. I I'm planning to see a few more crashes than last time, just because it's more easy to stay behind somebody. And obviously, if they can, obviously, for this race, being 52 laps, it's gonna be very hard on the tires compared to Australia, where. I, even though um, track was very hard on the tire, it was easy, I would say, to manage the tire. Even on these sections, particularly where you see Costas going, who did P3 last time, um, it's very difficult. If you have tires that are used or very old, you struggle a lot to be fast. Let's see, where is Nick? He's gonna start the first. He's the first one to go. Let's see what he does. Nick Westy was involved for the fight uh, for the win um, at Albert Park. Um, he made a mistake, if I don't remember well, with a yes. last car probably. Um, he he lost time in the his, last sector. He lost time in the last sector for in the quali, but then in the race he did make up. Tim Cartwright was very fast in the car, so I think close look to was him. The winner of Albert Park. Robin Taylor with the nice. best first sector. So Robin Taylor and Nick Westy, the two teammates are flying. Yeah, as, as Albert Park, the two more Actually, he's getting some slipstream for the guy ahead. Robin Taylor Absolutely. is getting a very good slipstream. Yeah, one of the Jordan brothers, uh, which are driving the Red Bulls, as Tim Cartwright again setting his best uh, first sector. Um, pretty chaotic uh, qualify at the moment. Pretty, pretty decent quality at, at the moment with Robin oh, Taylor with the best. I saw Tim Cartwright losing the car very badly there. Oh no, he, uh, yeah, he lost yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, he lost yeah, time. He lost he lost time. Very badly. What a recover! I think Ooh, Taylor, probably no, not perfect, no. like right there on the line. Robin and Taylor, I think. Lap in a 128.8. I think he threw the. Best lap he got because he had slipstream in the first sector, in the middle sector, perfectly. Robin mean, Taylor with a lockup there. Um, Daniel it, Christoph T2, not bad. Uh, Daniel really Christoph, uh, um, another Purple. guy who was fighting for the lead in Albert Park, the only McLaren fighting for the lead, um, he did make a mistake. I don't remember exactly when, but he was one of the few guys who can uh, keep who can manage to, who managed to keep the same pace as uh, Tim Cartwright yes uh, which now seems to be a bit in some traffic problems traffic and some traffic in front of him but he's Daniel high. is flying at the moment he's flying if he can get right this section and it seemed to be doing it nailed it and yes it is he does. 
Mid sector is fantastic. Up at the moment for Tony Christoph. Let's see if he can pull this one out. Last corner, nice breaking to there. Looking for the average full trotter here. I think this is. I a think good it is up. a pull. This is, is a pull. pull up. Yes, it is. 28? Yes, he can. Twenty-seven point eight. Four tenths faster Amazing than everybody. Lap. Amazing lap from uh, Christoph, but we know from the quality on Albert Park that the last one who crossed the finish line is a, exactly, exactly. We saw Nick is in the some pit. broad twists. Yes, uh, in, on, the, on the Albert Park uh, Wi-Fi. So it's still not over as we are looking to you, Luis. Luis? Yeah, he was fast in the, the practice that I saw before, and actually. His first sector is not that far, but yeah. two tenths. Uh, and put the rebel where the, the red bull. Uh, how can I say? Where where the red bull owns to be <laughs> the fastest car. <laughs> Absolutely, not not a lucky race for them in uh, um, in Albert Park. We saw one of the Yordok brothers. I don't remember which of the two making a big mistake. As a lap car trying to go inside, uh, yeah, he lost time there and it got crashed there. But it, I think here lapping each other would be better and should, much yeah, easier. Be quite easy, and he's not far off from the Daniel Christoph time. No, three tenths is four no, no. tenths. I would put him P2, huh? So uh, maybe P3 right now. If he, do if he doesn't lose time in the last sector. It can be P2. Because it's lap time, 28, 29. P6, okay, he lost a lot in the last sector, but it seems like everybody is struggling doing those that right, right, in the last sector. Absolutely. And correct me, we miss four cars right now on the grid. Yes, we are missing we are a few guys that did race last time. Like... I think we are missing Rocco Mina's teammate with the Ferrari. Yes, Probably. we are missing even Paulo Rodriguez. We are missing with the Laura other... Martin as well. No, Laura Martin is no, here. Martin is there. Tony, uh, are... uh, Tony Tordicia and, and Thunder Servi are missing. So these two yeah, guys. Yeah, so we are missing Thunder Servi with the, Alp the Alpine. Um, Tony Tordicia, which was driving... Uh, I don't remember what car he was driving, um, to be honest. I actually don't remember which car because maybe... Alpha? Possibly Tony, Alpha. No, I, I think it, Tony should be driving the same car as John Vidi guest is. Um, so Johnny is on the Aston Martin, can he be? No, Haas. Johnny is on the Haas. No, no, Johnny. Uh, John Vidi Ah, Vidi sorry. Guest. John, John is on the Williams. Williams was so Tony is on the Williams, yeah. And we are missing the two. The two. I think we are missing the first the sector of Westy, perfectly in line with uh, Christoph. Let's see if he can pull out the middle sector he needed. That was because great. At the moment, seems the only guy that can be a treat for Christoph Paul. Perfect. Uh, oh, that was Very great. Smooth there. I think it's going to be tight. Yeah, it oh, is tight. He lost time. And then now, but can he pull out a perfect last sector? Can he just pull out an amazing last sector to get his ball? Pretty, pretty sharp here. And on the last chicane, nice on the apex here. Car very stable. One seems to have a good setup. No, Sam. Let's click. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Paul. No. No, no, it is not. Perfect last sector, but just one tenth slower. Oh. It seems Johnny, that in the middle Johnny, sector, P3. Yeah, but six tenths down from Christoph Time. But we know that Johnny in the race is Johnny, so. Yeah, so Johnny can be. You cannot take Johnny out of the race. race. Absolutely. If we know him too well to put him out of the contenders for the win. If you consider consistency, and, sorry, sorry, Johnny's up there. Zero is it that a zero zero something? Who? No, it's uh, Daniel Christoph increasing 
Oh my god. The McLaren is flying, like in the real, but... Seems like he found the perfect setup at the moment. Yes, he does. He does. Another one, another two tenths down. He's now almost three tenths down from his lap. Can he close? Ooh, maybe he lost time? Uh, I think that was fine. I'm sure he's gonna be improving. Wow. Yeah, he does. Wow. He does. 127.5. Another big hit from Daniel Christ. The He's squad. flying. He's, the guy is flying. John is not improving. Tim Cartwright is yeah, missing Johnny today. Probably, you know, his lap. Tim Cartwright seems to not have Actually, fun. Actually, Johnny seems to be the, that doesn't have the front wing. Yeah, probably he's made a, he made a mistake. And we remember, guys, as every SRO rule, uh, you cannot escape into quali, so you have to go back to the pits. And repair your car once you are in pit. As Costas can do it. Yep. Costas was one of the um, surprises of Albert Park. Incredibly constant throughout all the fight with Johnny Gutierrez. Um, Johnny, last time around, he crashed with um, Nick, but then I think he did, he retired and Nick continued, but still, the championship is very open. And as we see one of the, the Daniel Jordan with the Aston Martin, but was he, wasn't he driving? No, the, the other the two brother, or maybe the other brother is driving. Uh, yeah, the brother is the other brother is driving the Alpha Tauri. So, ah, uh, so you oh, but oh, so we changed some cars because I remember the two Jordan brothers driving the Red Bull. Possible um, they changed this time around. Yeah, maybe they made some kind of change because I remember Gilles da Silva and I think uh, Gilles is on the Alpha Tower. Who was on the other Alpha Tower? I cannot confirm that, but I will, will have a look later. Um, maybe, maybe I don't remember Stephen Wenham, probably or Lorna Mar. Possible, possible. Stephen is on no, the. Lorna Alpha uh, Alpine. The Alpine with uh, his missing teammate under sorry, one of Maybe the Maybe because uh, uh, yeah, but... Lewis on the new on the Red Bull they had to switch. I don't know. Maybe possible. Lewis but... Lewis has a new face because I don't think yes. he raced under park. No, he didn't race in the uh, Albert Park race. Actually, to be uh for the viewers, all the cars perform the same. So it's just an outside okay. yeah. uh, livery has changed. All the cars are the same, they perform the same, so nobody have an advantage by racing the Alpha Tower or the Red Bull. No, no. If even the, um, Every car can win. The, of the car is different, and I don't mean just the livery, even the aerodynamics of the car. Mm. And that was bad because it was 0 0.026 down from Dana Christoph Lap. A bit of deja vu, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Some Eurobeat intensifies here. Maybe he's listening of some Eurobeat in meanwhile. <laughs> Actually, if you apply the Eurobeat and the effect of it, when the, these cars goes around the mega packets, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, as we thought, he lost a lot. I think he, the better thing he can do now is abort his lap. Yeah, and go for another one. Yeah, he still has time. Yeah. And Daniel Crystal. He's preparing for the last one. A shot. Johnny. Johnny Gutierrez. Moving. Three tenths down on the first sector. Johnny has time but for another one. So. He will have another, another shot. Surely he will have another shot. He's improving. And Stephen Wenham, strange, he didn't, still didn't make any. Ooh. I think uh, any, he cannot any do any laps because he had some issue. He will be in the race, but not in the quali. We'll I'm be correct. In the race, maybe destroyed the car and just had to Possible. retire. And Tim Cartwright, right now, 0 0.066. Tim Cartwright with his last try. Last time he was the pole sitter, so... 
Absolutely. Very strange to see him P7, so... To be honest. So maybe this is Tim Cartwright's zone, if you know no. what I'm saying. Oh, curse? It's costing a lot. Uh, yeah, it's costing... Uh, not that much. Not, not that much. Not as much as I thought. Ooh, another big oversteer there. Seems to have a little... Ooh, another... It, it seems to have a, a very unstable car. Yeah, it seems to be not the best setup. But uh, good enough to be P4. Good enough to be P4. And Nick Westy, yeah? Nick Westy, Robin Taylor! Robin Taylor! Amazing middle sector! But he's... Can he close the... He can close the... The lap in, in a good way. Huh. Look at this, 26, 26... No... 5, 3, 6... 0, 0, 7. Oh, I mean... 0, 0, 7, we can... Do we still have someone on the truck? Or... There is nobody else. He's nobody else. Gate. So Nick Westy did a mistake, probably. And Tim Cartwright. He was able to get another shot. But it seems to be behind, two tenths down. Costas can't not improving, Ben is not improving. Uh, maybe Good. if he can pull out something great in the middle sector. Nope. No, no, I think it's not. Costas can do us very back. And even, yeah, even Team Carbride, I think they. They are all going, going back to the pit lane, but. Yeah, we still I have. I personally believe Robin Taylor. The lap he didn't finish well in the, f the first try, where he got even the slipstream. Absolutely. That would have been a pole. I Probably, believe. Yes. I mean, 0 0.007, it's like you missed uh, to, to put a gear in. Can we can see any... Gear? Can we see yeah. a restart like... No, Daniel is not a... It's a McLaren. Would have been great to have a Red Bull delivery there, so... I mean, cops... Uh, McLaren, uh, Mercedes taking out a Red Bull, maybe? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know. I, I mean, the restarts can be great, so it's a standing start. Absolutely. Um, and we have a uh, quite tight top six, because the top six cars are... In... Uh, within... In one second, yeah. So as you can see, you can see the lap times uh, Daniel Christoph assuring the pole with a 127.529 and just seven thousands of a second behind Robin Taylor P2 with that 127.536. Nick Westy then the first car over the 28, um, 128.012 half a seconds lower than Daniel Christoph and his uh, teammate Robin Taylor. Tim Cartwright, the winner from Alder Albert Park, mm, look, looks like he's not finding the, the, the pace we saw him uh, having in uh, the previous race, 127.27 chances from the pole setter Daniel Christoph. B5 for Costas Cazanzuras. Quite, um, Costas is quite, I, how can I see, confirming P5, because even in Albert Park, I think it was P. Yeah, he was in the P7, P6 last time around, and then in the race, was very close to the guy ahead. But I mean, you know that quality lap is different than race pace. But this guy, actually, the from P1 to P7, I personally think they can all fight for the win. Absolutely, so Costas Cantoras, um confirming to be one of the top guys in this league. Uh, with a nice 128.3 and then we have Johnny Gutierrez careful to pull Johnny Gutierrez off the, uh, out of the equation right now because we know how well he can manage the race pace uh, throughout the all stage the, the long stage of the race especially um, to the tire I think he speaks to the tires <laughs> he doesn't use them yeah Phil Brown Daniel Christoph teammate which seems to not have the same pace one second slower than his teammate um, I, I'm, I'm curious to see if Phil Brown will find some better pace into, into the race pace. Um, into Maybe the race. he struggled more with the quality lap and he's better in the race pace. 
He has been consistent in the past where he was top 5 consistently, so I guess he struggled slightly in the quality lap. Absolutely. And we have a Lewis, but it's not Hamilton on the <laughs> Red Bull. Uh, strange to see a Lewis on the Red Bull, but still uh, one of the probably the closest guy to the top pack of the top seven with 1.5 seconds lower than Nadia Pisto, just half a second lower than Phil Brown. Then we have John Biddy Guest with uh, 129.62 seconds lower than Daniel Pisto with his Williams, followed closely by Rocco Mina with the, the Ferrari, which the unlikely Ferrari. seems not to have the pace even in the simulator. Luckily <laughs> <laughs> for us. I know, there is another Ferrari, sorry. I yeah, forgot there, about Laura Martin. Martin. So we are we are actually missing. Um, we are missing one Alpine. One Alpine, one Alpine, one Alfa Romeo. One Alfa Romeo. And, uh, one, one Williams Bull. and one, one with Red Bull. One Red Bull. Yep. With uh, Lorna Martin with a one thirty one point three. Three seconds lower, we are on the slowest part of the grid. Gilles da Silva, 12, P12, Gilles da Silva get, got points in the past race. Uh, Last race the, around, Gilles da Silva did P8. Yeah, and with a brand new teammate, Marius Jordoke, betraying his brother Daniel, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. Um, P13 for Michael Labelle on his Aston Martin, followed by his teammate Daniel Jordak with uh, the other Aston Martin. Then we got P15 uh, Mar uh, Marius, as we said, with the Alpha Tauri 134.4. And then last but not least, Stephen Wenham, who wasn't able to complete one lap on his quality. Uh, I mean, it was very intense. Good quality. Uh, we still have one minute of warm-up and we can go in a small commercial break uh, with our sponsor Aptora and see you back. Va bene, andiamo in griglia, va. Bla bla bla. Ok, we are back. They are all going to the grid, as you can see. Yeah, the drivers are pre... We see a lot, some... Three spots on the grid. We they have will have one lap. formation lap, yes. Yeah, one formation lap as real life. Um, Sam, I mean, yes. it's strange not to see an F1 field without one of the Red Bulls. Uh, I mean, you have to get used to this. Uh, or maybe now Aaron. Luis get, will. That you're wrong. I don't know. In one lap, he will get all the other and be P1. I don't know. Let's see. Wait. I don't see you. Ah, Lewis Middleton. 
Sorry, Lewis was not... Ah, Lewis Middle. Lewis Why is we didn't have to Oh god. We didn't have no. our fucking there. <laughs> the red I was... drive why his name was not getting the right? Ah, why now we have Lewis Middleton. Now we have Lewis Middleton, so... But why why is he last? last? Oh, maybe we... Maybe he disconnected... Just to get the right, uh, nam name correct? I don't know, mate. Very unlucky. I mean, th in that case, we will be happy to see him it get, was, ba uh, get back all the position. Strange to see it was actually strange to see Lewis without anything. Uh, yes, I mean, <laughs> didn't thought about Lewis Middleton. Sorry, Lewis. Maybe um, he changed computer and yeah, now. I was I was looking at the I was looking at the standings and saying, Oh no, my no. God, wait, I was... where's Lewis? <laughs> we have no Lewis anymore, and Lewis. No, no, no. We are talking about him and we don't see him anymore. And you can see all the guy waving around, and not the Mercedes guy. <laughs> they have a different plan to hit up this tire. Look at how West is hitting his tires up. I think the two Mercedes guys are looking for revenge because they were probably the fastest guy on the track on Albert Park and yes. they were both very unlucky. So, all set, they're but all still, lining up. The Mercedes lineup seems to be the, f the strongest one at the moment. So we confirmed that Lewis Middleton is gonna start last. What a bad luck for for him. Everybody lined yeah. up. Should we do the should we do the intro? <laughs> so should we do the intro? So we are waiting one, two, three, four, five. And it's lights out in Silverstone for the Aptora F1 series, uh, hosted by SRO, great start by Daniel Christoph, which was able to get some space, to put some space. Ooh, we already see someone on the grass. I don't really am. We have some trouble. Oh, Williams. Middleton. And Middleton. Not the Mari. Ooh, yes, to Martin. Ooh, we have. Struggling. With attraction. We have chaos, complete chaos at the start with Daniel Christoph. Nick Westy, Nick Westy, Nick Westy on the West. inside, on the inside. Robin Taylor, I don't think they should Around do Around the outside, this. If, he, if he can get this, I will fly mm. to amazing UK tomorrow. Taylor, amazing attack from Nick Westy. He's gonna try the outside. No, sorry, Robin Taylor's on the outside. And Nick Westy lifting up, Ooh. preventing <laughs> a contact with his teammate. Um, I, I don't think that was the best idea from the two guys there. <laughs> you lose time like that? No, but uh, it was great. And, yes. Kansuras, Kansuras, getting the place from uh, Johnny Gutierrez. There is a slow Haas. There is a slow Car Haas. Car Team Cartwright, Team Cartwright, and in trouble. Attack, attack Ethan by Rafinha. Team Cartwright by Gasly in trouble. Possible, he lost time there on exit. And look at the stop, Daniel Christoph, which already puts him two seconds, point three, to his dark chasers. He took advantage of the battle they Robin Taylor and Nick Westy got. Yeah, sure. The bell in the pistol. By the way, probably Michael Abel on in the pit lane, so probably already damaged for him. Uh, Lewis unlucky. Middleton, P10. Started the last. Yeah, Lewis Middleton was probably the best driver to get you get advantage from the cause of the start. So great start, great start from him. We know that his pace should be around P7 at the moment. P5, uh, maybe P6, he can get there. I don't know if he has the same pace as Brown and the Jarrett's. Surely he's got a better pace than Brock Nina, um, from what we saw from Pali. Mm. This Brown on the ground. This, this is looking strange. 
looks like you have like smoke when they are in the corners. I think they are using more tire. They are the car. That's the reason. That's the only reason I can find. Yeah, maybe it's just some mod bug or like possible. That. Or tire. Actually, let's take a let look to the tires. So he's running the super softs. Soft, soft. Our tires from Costas Culturas, which is in P4 and directly changed from Robin Tucker. Our tires, medium. Medium tires from the Medium. Medium tires. Medium. Medium, medium. tires on the top. Love top there. Cartwright, the winner of the last race, is struggling a lot. He's behind Propina, which is unusual for the singles. Cartwright be a bit quicker than Rocco, but Rocco is defending himself pretty good in this race. I think they got now the GRS, so he should Ooh, be able to. I, I, I see that Tim Cartwright has a terrible setup. I, I keep seeing like overskipping and fighting with the car on the case. He's not driving the car, he's fighting. Maybe he has so much under here. Oh, Nick Westy got a position on Robin Taylor. I saw now. Robin Taylor. He's having some trouble. Maybe maybe they need to reach the name of that question, but the chance to get close to Crystal. I don't know if they if they talk. I don't think so. I believe he just made a good move on track, but still, uh, at the moment he's right there, 2.5. Gap is not going down, so let's see what he can pull out with these soft tires. Actually. If you have to do 52 laps, soft tires, I know Nick can really treat well the tires, so he can make no, them you, last. But you, you, you can't actually do that, because you have to beat and change your compound, but... Actually, from the top 4, the guy who I believe is at the moment the most threat for the leader is uh, Costas, because he's on the hard, he can go very long. Absolutely. We saw him doing the same thing in Albert Park, starting with the hard tires and then switch back to the to the soft tires. He did 30 but laps, did. I remember, in Albert Park on those tires. Yeah, but I mean, we even saw that the, the tire length is quite uh, different from the real ones. Sure, but we saw still... people doing like 30 laps, 40 laps on Albert Park with this uh, their soft pound. With a single song, so it's going to be interesting to see how much the these cars are going to take. As Jimmy Luther is defending himself from Phil Brown, we already are into the DRS zone. Um, I think we have in there from the past two laps, be from lap three, he got the DRS enabled. And this is the uh, DRS zone. It's going to be interesting to see how much the DRS is going to get affected because. We mm. saw that in Albert Park, DRS wasn't so effective, but still, Albert Park is not um, a truck with long straights. It's going to be interesting to see the DRS working in here in the service. Team. These guys are fighting, they're all together and actually one mistake can get them lose a lot of position. Rocco Mina is doing very great, he's holding his B8 Rocco pretty well Mina was and he's like... by Tim Cartwright. And yes. now Lewis Middleton is definitely a menace back there. Yeah, he's gonna be fast than faster than Rocco Mina, but let's see still. Some gap to catch. 
But you know, keep seeing Tim Cartwright car very unstable on the under braking. It, it looks like it, it keeps correcting the car the car line. I, I, I don't think he's going to be having fun. He doesn't, he doesn't have a setup that was similar to Australia where he was very, very easily, comfortably driving the car. He's struggling a lot to keep the car on tire and truck and doing 50 laps more like this is going to be very, very hard for him. Ooh, from Johnny! Look at the oversteer god there. Johnny, to, the, the two asses seems to have a setup which is quite loose on the back. Yes, at uh, the moment they're struggling a lot with the car. Maybe they didn't got time. So... But still... Well, maybe they didn't find anything better than that. Can happen. As Lewis Middleton right now is pushing to catch he will on have the DRS. From DRS open. I told you this. Is, oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, on the exit, yes, could have. Yeah. They had contact. Up there. Dive bomb. Oh. And the on the exit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm used to it, so <laughs> I've been racing in IMSA lately, and people right there think is a uh, you can go for it, but as you saw, Lewis, he is very careful. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Lewis, um, I, Lewis, I think he will. He know that he can get him. In this lap, because of the speed, now he can go. He can go for it. No, he still it looks doesn't. like the TRS gives you a lot of top speed, but just at, at the, the end, highest, highest gear, yeah. Not in the beginning, and getting a good exit is very hard if you're behind. Ooh, yeah, I should. Team should. Actually, they have to be careful even with the fuel they use. That's a cut. You have no refuel, remember that. And. Oh, this is going That's to be the best. Yes. I have to be speeding. Now he's definitely have to be speeding to overtake all of the guys. He will be able to rock a funny day inside, going out from, going on the outside. In car break. Great move here. He's now have the inside. Perfectly done by Team Cartwright. That's racing. That's how you should be done. Do that. Now let's see. Uh, by doing that, Lewis lost four seconds to Team Cartwright, so he has to pick up the pace again and try to catch Team Cartwright. He wants to get in the top seven, but right now he started last because of the issue of the name and. He's doing fantastic. Uh, he's recovering all the position lost, and actually, he's in the position where he should have started P8, P7, so not bad. Bill Brown, he's actually maybe stuck behind Johnny at the moment. He is, and um, I think he. Phil, Phil, if if you can if you can hear us. Um, ask, ask Lewis Middleton for some advice how, how to overtake on this track because uh, he did the perfect move on, on Rocco. Just um, be yeah. as low as possible not, here on the exit. That's the goal. That should be to, the goal for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Um, not to not to offend Rocco, but Rocco and Johnny are two different drivers to overtake. No, for sure. But um, go on as a Anybody, but we know Johnny and Brock seems to be a fast guy, but still not as Johnny. I personally believe and when you are driving around this track, you have to consider that when you go through Max packets, you have to sacrifice the left hander before the right hander before the long straight. 
Otherwise, you're never gonna pass anybody. Seems like he's very close, so... If he can get... The position is very close down here. He can put pressure on Johnny, even though Johnny <laughs> doesn't feel the pressure. He has yeah, so Johnny much experience. Is, right now Johnny is behaving perfectly. Um, he, he, I think he knows what corners are can be a trouble and he's trying to focus his speed on those corners um, so that so to keep Phil Brown uh, behind. Phil Brown made it. Oh, how fast did he make Maggots and Beckets? I think he can have a shot down here. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Let's see. It was close. It was very close, but Johnny is... Yeah, from, from, the, from the outside, it, it seemed to be closer than what actually was. That's what speed make you look like. Actually, Nick West is... Speaking is is still there. He's 2.8 from Christoph, and anything can happen in the pit stop. An overcut, undercut, anything. Yeah, in, in Italian we say I don't know if the, like rubber. Um, I mean elastico. Yep. Uh, in Italian. I don't know if it's rubber in English. I don't remember. Really, like elastic rubber. But still, yeah, I got rubber. what you mean. I, they're you getting do, and like, losing the um, uh, time. Yeah, that that means they are probably on the same race pace. Yep. Um, Westy and Christoph at the moment they I'm have been surprised same. by by Costas. Look uh, at there. Look at this line by Phil Brown. Well, not now in the cups, but in the next one. Phil Brown out second down from Johnny Gutierrez at the moment. Can you pull out something right here? They go in the first one flat. Yeah, Johnny's focus. This can cost to Johnny. No, he's far. He's far. He is really far. I personally believe. I personally believe. Uh, Johnny is running a very low wing compared to what we saw with Rocco Mina. Oh, because yeah, uh, probably, you know, um, the difference is the driving ability. If you are faster as Johnny is, and, and we know how Johnny is, uh, how, how good Johnny is, um, Lorna Martin, bad mistake, bad, bad mistake. This is a, one of the worst mistakes you can do because that means that you They're are losing the long on straight. straight very low. Yeah, we are gonna exit the corner in a very low speed. I think by the time we finish this race, Phil Brown can draw the house. Absolutely. He's gonna send the picture to Johnny and tell him, oh, that's what I see from for all the race. But... It's been 11 know, lap, huh? As, yeah. As drivers, Sam, we know how difficult can be having a guy right, in, right behind you putting pressure on you. Because you know that if you make a mistake, you are going to lose the place. I think this is the time. Very close. But Ooh. still, Johnny is able to have a perfect exit down out of back of the Maggot. Probably, probably, since he sacrificed so much speed inside the corners, he is able to have a better exit. I think he can. He knows what the best for defend to defend the position, and he tried to not overdo in the first uh, section of the mega packets, but be perfect on the exit that can lead for him to defend his position. Absolutely, that, that's the only only way Johnny can defend. Because overall, Bill uh, Brown, uh, he's faster. But uh, Johnny is defending so clean that uh, there is nothing that Phil Brown can do apart from putting pressure. And actually, we know better that 
putting pressure is not easy because right now Phil Brown can get really crazy and maybe he can make a mistake just by trying the car I around mean, to try something different. Yeah, I mean, I always heard people saying if you are one second faster, you were taking this. If you are half a second faster, you were it's not so easy, but still you can do it. Phil Brown. Oh, Phil Brown bad no. I saw it coming. I told you 30 seconds ago. When you're is... that close in your mind, yeah. that's actually what make good driver than normal the good the average driver. Frustration. frustration make you do this. Frustration mistake, yeah, you keep seeing your, the guy in front of you and you, you keep telling yourself, I'm faster, why can't I get to... Ooh. Ooh. Mamma mia, that was close. Costas won't be happy about Actually, this. really, like Phil Brown was faster than Gutierrez. But what's the difference? Johnny was very patient. He know what he's doing. Experience. But uh, he never made a mistake. He never did something. He, he never overdrive. That's the reason. Yeah. Sam, um, we know... We... As drivers, we, as, as I said before, we know that casing usually is always easier. That's why I I, I saw it coming. I saw it coming because uh, I told you it's been 11 lap. It's very that. common that now he's gonna do something different to, to be very close on the exit of the mega packets, and 12 seconds later he did a mistake. Not because I'm a genius, but just because he was driving that car more aggressively and you can see that in his driving style and he should have just been slightly more careful but even though I would say he did learn something today he did the level up behind a car very close like that pushing himself more than he can and been fighting Johnny Guterres we saw races where Johnny Guterres didn't lose P1 of in one entire race just because it was good in one corner and that's Johnny for you but uh, today I think Phil should be happy even though I know that losing the car like that can be first very first racing but personally I think for a driver point of view he should be happy because he did something great he was fighting for the top five with one of the best driver who as we see that Robin Taylor going slightly wide. Robin Taylor probably soft tires are starting to have troubles because I saw Costas getting slightly closer and closer every lap. So um, speaking of chasing, attacking, and aggressive, I mean, I was saying that usually being to to be to have an easy overtake, you have to be at least half a second faster than the guy in front. Yes. If you keep... If you if you manage to be stuck to him, but you cannot find a, play, a, a place to overtake him, that's probably because you're just a two, two and a half tenths faster than him, let's say. Yes. And that yeah. means that you cannot overtake, because two tenths faster doesn't give you the opportunity to overtake. And you have to be, I, I won't say smart, but you have to be to have the experience to say, okay, I can't, I cannot overtake him now. I have to wait to a good chance, maybe a, a mistake for me, and keep applying pressure. Like that probably is what lacked for Phil Brown, uh, which oh, Lorna Martin DNF second DNF of the day, by the way, um, after Phil Brown. And I was saying that was probably what Phil lacked. The experience or the patience to say, okay, I cannot overtake him now because I don't have the pace to overtake him. Um, I want to keep as much as possible with, with him and stay with him uh, as much as I can and maybe find something with the strategy or maybe keep applying pressure, which is not easy to do for, on Johnny Gutierrez. And wait for a, for a mistake. Especially from. Um, as a driver point of view, still, 
per se. What I would do is, if it's been more than one lap, most likely the best would be the best scenario would be you get a position in your first lap where you're behind the guy and you get the job done. But since when you're very close like that, it's very hard. The best scenario for you would be get back, put the pressure, and learn how the other driver is driving. Uh, you're faster in turn one? Yes or no? Yes. And through each lap you're going, you start to get to know, oh, he's making a small mistake in turn three. I should take advantage there. That can be an overtake move. Yeah, maybe it's too risky. Like this, he Costas, went for the inside. Costas, Costas, Costas. Sorry to cut you off there, but Costas is definitely, definitely trying to get the place on Robin Taylor. And he got the position. Yes, he can. Great move, great move by Costas. Can Robin, will, will Taylor be able to answer back? I don't think. His tires, I think, are dead right now. So, most likely cannot but uh, let's see maybe he, he's still there he's still there he can still get some slipstream and Costas is doing a great race to be honest with the hard tires yes and actually right behind you we see Johnny Gutierrez right there yeah, close to the top. he's closing he did a 32-4 faster up around there eh? so he's quick as like the guy in P1 and P2 so not bad Now Costas can actually push because his stars at the moment I believe is, are the best in shape out there. Yeah, but still he's losing from Nick Westy. So the top two guys at the um, moment are... I think he has to maybe settle down now, just relax and think, okay, now I'm leading. I have my second of gap that I need behind. I should consider one corner by corner and push the car. Sometimes, actually, I was always saying before, as a driver, you should just consider the next corner, how I'm gonna prepare the next one, and the next one. That's how you go for the race. If you start to look for a bigger picture, oh, I should do a 32 one in this lap, and you're not counting all, all the 18 turns you have to do. And if you are not, I um, don't mean, I want to say like, best driver out there but if you're an, a normal driver if you start just considering oh I'm gonna do the first sector like this and then finish the first sector second sector third sector that's how you should go for each lap and that can be a game changer for you you, should, yeah, you start to be hard. more consistent you don't make a mistake and you sh you just consider one thing one by one and it can actually uh, make you faster just because of the, you don't have the overflow of information in your head going through. If you start to Absolutely. consider, oh, I have to do the first sector very great, then I have to do this by struggling turn 7, I'm sl uh, the guy is behind me and all the other information, uh, you're not driving at that point. Where's this beating? Where's this beating? Was is already pitting, so we were right. The soft tires are coming to an end. Maybe he's looking for some kind of under undercut. Maybe possible. No, Westy penalty. Penalty. Oh, this are this is going to be the end for Nick Westy for his chances to win. I think. This is going to be a drive through penalty, probably. I would say speeding it pit lane. If I was Daniel at the moment, I would not pit. I would just try to extend my gap. Yeah, I have 20 seconds on Costa rules and keep going. Yeah, I mean, Daniel at the moment has the knife uh, on. How can I say it in properly in English? No, remember. Um, I would say he's keeping the knife in his hand. Let's say uh, like this. Uh, Taylor P2? What happened? How did Robin Taylor get... Costas made a mistake, probably. 
I think the Alpine just hold him back too much. And uh, I see someone no. going into the pit lane. Westy for the pit. Uh, yeah. I think it's just so, a drive through. But yeah, it should, it's gonna yeah, cost him a lot. Oh no. It, Is that stop no? and go? No? No, it's actually. I think he didn't read properly what was the penalty because technically, if you did speed in the pit lane, it should be just. Or maybe it was a stopping of the second? You believe so? Maybe, no, but. It would be strange, 13 seconds of pit stop. Um, I don't really know. Let's see if he pit again, then <laughs> he made a mistake, but. So the gap is increasing. No. Maybe what? maybe you can ask him when you when you met him for for your EARC training. <laughs> for your Daytona, you you could ask you could ask Nick what happened there. I will text him later, don't worry. And so Would be great to get some rain to... now. Just to <laughs> just to mix, mix up, up, up a few things, but uh we are not expecting any rain. So, um, getting back to what were you saying about thinking um, about corner after corner and not lap after lap or sections of the race after se section of the race. Um, I totally agree with you because it's useless to think about the next lap if you can make it out of, of the next corner. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that the best thing you can do is to think corner after corner. Especially like uh, that was very useful for me. Uh, when you drive these car kind of cars, they go so fast. I can, if you go on board, you can feel the speed of these cars. They are so fast. You don't have the time to think. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean. Don't think, um, like, watching from yes, the outside, they are so slow. You see, oh, they have plenty of time to think. No. You don't have when you see a video is different when you drive is a different scenario your mind is going through so many information so many things that you have the adrenaline and the pressure that actually is mounting so when you're driving this fast uh, you don't have time then I, if you go to drive like a gt3 after this you think oh make, there's so much time to think in this gt3 yeah yeah we, we know that pretty well um we me and you recently switched from the GT3 on iRacing to finally be able to drive for the IMSA category with the LMDH and the GT3. Robin Taylor in GTP. Yeah, Robin Taylor. Oh, and probably didn't want to make the same mistake as Nick West did. Um, I was saying that, yeah, we, we recently moved from the GT3 uh, to on i on i racing uh to always on i racing to the gtps which are the lmdh in such category and the change that you have to to do mentally is incredibly big um the speed breaks uh what you have to do the, the little corrections you have to do it's almost uh, it, it's so quick it's so quicker than the than what you have to do with the GT3s that at first you get shocked by that. And the only way you can be able to survive with those cars is to say, okay, um, where do I have to break and where do I do I have to put the car throughout this corner, not the whole lap, throughout every single corner. And that's the best way to put together the laps. Actually, because you don't um, have time to think of what the guy in front is doing when you first approach to those cars. Then get your, um, or at least this is what's happening to me. I see that my thoughts are getting quicker and quicker, and I can match the car pace with my thoughts. So when I see that my thoughts are matching the car pace. Uh, that's the moment where I can, like, say, 
okay, now I can think and can start to look at a little bigger picture. So what the car around me are doing, what the car behind me is doing, what the car in front of me is doing, how I, uh, how, when and where will I be able to reach the lapped cars with the GT3, which is pretty difficult. Actually, I believe when the moment you do the switch, um, mentally, you start feeling that even that speed now is slow for you. So you are not going fast and you have the time to think and everything. The moment your your mind has already switched and it's adapted to the speed of the car. That's what actually, that's the moment where you start to correct and perform better. Absolutely. This kind of, this kind of uh, feeling um, reminds me of uh, a quote from Walter Rohr when he was talking about the Group B cars. Uh, if you don't know what Group B cars are, then you are probably on the wrong, um, <laughs> on the <laughs> wrong side because you probably are not a, a car enthusiast. Um, so basically, for if if you don't know, I will say it and. The fast way I can. So, Group B cars were monsters. Oh, as we, as John VD Guest is doing, as we were talking about rallies. So, John VD Guest is uh, getting to help us with some rallying. Um, oh. oh, and that's a DNF. Oh. Sorry, John, I was making a bit of fun of you. Um, and even Michael about DNF. So, probably a contact between the two guys. Most likely. We got some. I think that was a contact. Maybe during the lapping. Yeah, possible, possible. Yeah, that's that's the, the most. By the way, thing very quietly, Tony Gutierrez is only two seconds shy from Costas. Yeah, increased of twenty-eight seconds from Costas Canduras. Chris is doing one hell of a race. Um, so, as I was saying, um, Group B cars were monsters created to kill people uh, <laughs> on the on the rally stages. And Walter Rohr, one of the best uh, drivers ever in uh, in the rally, um, said that they were danger not because not because it, it was danger to drive them. But because they were that, that car was so fast that they couldn't think quick enough to keep the car on the truck, and, and that's incredible to, to think about that. And so, when you think about what an F1 driver has to do, it's pretty, pretty much crazy to be honest. As we speak um, about rally into an F1 race, because uh, we don't miss anything, um, Costas Canturas is now 30 seconds behind Daniel Christoph, which is doing uh, probably another job than the other guys at the moment. Yeah, especially he's the guy who made this software last so much. Yeah, that's me. So Daniel, we want to know what layout you are running at the moment, because this is not the same layout the other guys are doing, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, probably you are cutting somewhere, I don't know. Uh, we, we are not... Can we can we check Christoph at the moment and give him some some lights? Uh, here it is. Let's see if we can see where he is cutting the truck. Um, <laughs> just gaining like uh, one second per lap at the moment on the pool cost us. I think that if Christoph stops now, you will be able to come out in front. Uh, I think the pit lane is bigger than 30 seconds. No, no, he will not be, but... Uh, I don't think so, to be honest. I think the pit because lane the is, is around... Uh, I think that... I think that he can make it. Or at least, if he stops now, it will be very, very tight. It, it, it will be a very tight call.
Uh, yeah, the pit stop is like the pit stop himself is as usual three to four seconds, but uh, it's more about the Silverstone pit lane being very long. I I would say, I was Daniel, I would keep running. I'm doing so great. Thirty two zero last lap time around, and he oh, pits. And <laughs> he pits. Great, very slow. That's behind Costas? Without no, who's blocking, the guy? No, that's not Costas. Costas I don't know. is I don't know on who... the back of the maggots section right now. Ah, it's Daniel, so Daniel. And penalty for one of the Yordaki brothers. Uh, yeah. Marius, no, oh, Daniel, Daniel. And look at that. What, I di what did I tell you? Daniel Christian <laughs> came out right there and still Costas has to do the last corner. So that is Crystal. He can go for another pit stop. He can push as much as he wants with the stars and just be uh, and have. But did they didn't put again the soft tires? Uh, last time around we had the same issue. Let's let's waste a few things. Hey, no no no, he's on the medium. Oh, he's on the medium. Sorry. I remember Perfect. even the last time, the last time around, we had the same issue where we saw, oh, why were they all off? And then when we re switched the camera, we were. Yeah. So the pit fine. lane is 17 seconds for the stop. Yes. Around 17 seconds. Which is very, very quick time, to be honest. Yes. Uh, I was. I thought it would have been around 30 seconds, but uh, actually not bad. Actually, this mm, uh, I personally believe that makes people do more pit stop and push more because you don't lose that much. You lose more by staying on old tires. DNF from Lewis Middleton. No, oh, very unlucky. What happened there? Uh, we cannot go back, so we will never know. Ooh, that's Robin Taylor. Robin Taylor. Robin Taylor with Tim Carbright. He's uh, trying I for the outside he move. Still have to, to stop. Yeah, he is. He's that still team the has so to. Still have to stop. Yep. He still has to do the pit stop, but yes, he should be looking for the pit stop in the next few laps, most likely. He will be actually is at the moment struggling a lot, but maybe he's looking more for one stopper and going for um, better last sector of last part of the race. Look at and Tim Cartwright probably right now is doing some team job because he's keeping behind Robin Taylor and Nick Westy. No, sorry, only Robin Taylor. Maybe helping his team in Johnny Gutierrez, but Robin Taylor should be around 10 seconds in front of Johnny Gutierrez when Johnny decides to beat. That was a strange move from the lap of Alpha Tower. Was he Gilles da Silva? Uh, or what is your check. Name? Yeah, it was Gilles da Silva, who is spitting now. One twenty nine four one one by Daniel. Yeah, was Daniel actually Christus, flying. Daniel Christus was looking for a Grand Slam. I mean, pole position, fastest lap, and in, uh, at the end of the race, from lap one to lap fifty-two. Without losing it, even on the pit stop, he's really looking for a grand Chelem. Actually, he gets the f one point extra for it. That so yeah, yeah, true. He true. need the fast lap. 
now. He can actually be P1 after this race if Tim Cartwright doesn't do P4, P5, so yeah. He will be, uh, at the moment, from times we saw, he will be able to do another stop and still be able to be in front. <laughs> Technically, he gained last time around 3 seconds. Yeah, 4 yeah, seconds. He's definitely flying. Another two seconds. And I think that Robin Taylor is ready to attack on Team Cartwright. Moving on the outside, I don't think that Cartwright will be able to fend no, because Westy, sorry, Robin Taylor already took position with the DRS. Robin Taylor is on a fresher tire. Yeah, yeah, true. I, I mean, Team Cartwright did a good job. He kept Robin Taylor back as much as he could, but. I mean, fresh tires. We saw in real life how fresh tire is working better than the used tires. I mean, not, it, it's kind of logical, but you can you cannot uh, you, you cannot say beyond. With the mods, you never know what you get. You never and know with the tire, but zero, still, it is doing great. So technically, he. If Carlos Carus, there's, there's a thing I don't understand. Where Robin did lose so much time? Because if Costa speeds now, now he's behind. Yeah, Robin Taylor would be behind Costa. No, 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 so no. I don't know. Robin Taylor would be ahead. No, cause... Robin Taylor is twenty. No. Robin Taylor. Second behind of Costas Cantoras. No. So if Costa speeds now. No, you're looking wrong. Costas Cantoras, uh, sorry, has on Robin Taylor uh, six second at the moment. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was looking plus twenty four from Daniel Christoph. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and Robin Taylor speeds. would be. And Johnny too. Johnny second. and Costas are pitting. So Robin Taylor in everything P two. But where did he lose so much from Christoph? He was not that bad. He, he, he was not that far. I mean, he pitted very early. That's the only reason why he gained time. And uh, the other are going for one stopper, and Robin most likely is going for a two stopper. Is it still on the mean, on the soft tires? No, he's on the medium, but... Uh, uh, I, I think he can make it, yeah, to be honest. He pitted around the la lap 20. Yeah, but we saw... We are looking at Johnny Gutierrez with the medium tires doing 30 laps. So I think he can do around the 30 laps. But Daniel is on the 30... No, no. He pitted uh, five, three laps ago, so... Let's see. Uh, he, he will struggle at the end, for sure. Yeah, but Cartwright still has to beat. Uh, Costas Kansura is only West, maybe 10 the only problem from Taylor will be Nick Westy, but Westy pitted earlier too. So, and speaking about Westy, he's now attacking on Tim Cartwright. Around the outside. Oh, look at the outside! Ooh. Great move there from Tim Cartwright by Nick Westy. Got the inside. I think that he's going to close the overtake. Yes, and Tim. I, I keep seeing Tim right. Yeah, Tim is is fighting with his car. Look at that. I mean, Sam, we know we know how how much frustrating it is to fight with your car throughout the whole race. Yes. It, it's kind of. A great job. He's doing a great job, to be honest. Because P4, with those problems on the setup, I mean, great. You're doing a great job, team. But Jesus, you, <laughs> it's like to see two wrestlers fighting right there. Personally, when you have to fight against your own car. It's never good. Uh, it's never uh, good uh, pleasure to drive for 52 laps. No, definitely not. Definitely not. 
because it gets frustrating, it gets it gets you angry, you can focus on the right things because the only thing you can focus on is uh, okay, I have to correct here, I have to correct the oversteer here, I have to lift up to make the car turn here. It's kind of difficult. Johnny Gutierrez seems to be a bit have a more stable car, but I am seeing both the ass uh, having troubles when it comes to the rear end. Both have been struggling. Uh, nobody, of, both of them, never looked to be in control of the car. You know what? What can we do? We can see a lot. Why don't why don't we, why don't we do this? Um, we one lap of Daniel, cut right, and one with Daniel. Yeah, to com to compare why Daniel is absolutely crushing this race and everybody else in front. Yeah, he's losing a lot of wheel angle there. To be honest, it seems to be quite stable at this club. Maybe it's just something from the outside. No, definitely not. No, <laughs> he's fighting when he's trying to push on throttle. Yeah, you know what it looks like? Maybe I'm wrong, because I don't... I, I'm not driving the setup from that Tim Cartwright has a... It feels like he struggles so much into the turning because I see that the car is not, the front of the car is not responding, I think, as he wants. Uh, look at this. It looks like he's having a lot of fatigue to point the front of his car. Especially, yes, so much under steer. Yeah, and to, to have like the. to get rid of that. It goes on the throttle sooner to make the, the back turn, you know, when you go, when you look for some, uh, for some, I'm, I'm not saying brief, uh, a bit of oversteer to make your car turn. And so it gets a lot of understeer into the turning and a lot of oversteer to the turn out into the exit of the corner because he's using the throttle to make the car turn. It's kind of difficult to do a whole race with this. Generally, generally speaking, to be fast, uh, especially will cost us with team card, right? Absolutely. And team is still out 34 laps on the same compound. Yeah, for example, if I was cost us right now, I wouldn't be desperate look for that place because team is you, you just have to wait until team gets the hit. Can be difficult because Miquest is fine away and Costas Canduras is looking his third place. But if, if I was around team, the outside he can can he close can yes he, he can no no he cannot yes, he can traction yeah we yeah, yeah, traction no, it's still not over. You can pass at cops. Yeah, you, you can. You before. can, you can, you can. On the outside, great maneuver from Costas Canzuras. Uh, yeah, that was quite a. The fresh start was quite a helper there. Yeah, I mean, team car team has to beat. I don't think he has any more tires to go to the end. 
Actually, he can get. He has to gain six seconds. No, he's nine seconds behind Robin Taylor, who's a direct competitor at the moment for him. I believe he can get them in the last part of the race because we still have we, st we still have Nick Westy. Nick Westy, you never know no. if he can try to drive those tires until the end. I think he will struggle slightly with the tires, but let's see. I think that between West and Tanzura is going to be tight at the end. For sure. This is what I think. If Tanzura has the pace uh, to close the gap for me, West, which I don't know to be honest, because West in the first team was faster than the Greek driver. So, after looking at the lap with Team Card right, can we check a lap on Daniel Christoph Car, which is 37 seconds ahead of Robin Tain? I, I repeat, if it's not clear, 37 seconds in 36 laps. <laughs> that in, he was He's flying. Oh, Johnny Guterres. Faster per lap. On his teammate. Yeah, he must beat. Maybe a bit of team orders there, but still, still, team doesn't seem to have any anything left on the tire. Maybe team just want to do the entire race on the same compound. I don't know. Actually, let's check if they did Peter no, because maybe we are saying, but no, team is yet to beat. Now, Stephen Winam, Gilda Silva still didn't beat, and one of the Jordan brothers. That and got yeah, the, I don't know if Daniel or Marius. Um, but the other Jordan brother has three stops, so I don't know if it's for damage. Probably yes. Possible, but uh, right now Nick Westy gained one second, point five in the last lap on uh, Robin Taylor. Yeah, and Kanzuras is gaining on Nick Westy, so it can be. Triple fight for P2 at the end. And Tim Cartwright still driving around the track. Uh, I mean, I don't think he can do anything else. I think that his race is quite finished because he's got more than one minute over Rock Mina. So even with the stop, Tim Cartwright will be like. 50 seconds in front of Rakumina and will be like 20 seconds behind uh, his teammate John Gutierrez. So I think that his race is pretty much finished. You just have to bring it home. Gutierrez instead is trying to push and close the gap to Kanzuras, which is trying to push and close the gap to Westy, which is trying to push and close the gap to his teammate Robin. Uh, possible Nick Westy is gonna make this time to Robin Taylor. I personally believe if they both fight. They're gonna lose time, so... Yeah, and I think that that is what Costa is waiting for. It's like hoping that, okay guys, go to some fight. Fight a bit, please. I'll be able to join you in, in a couple of laps if you fight. Because he's still gaining one second again on Nick Westy. You can see the Alfa Romeo comparing on the back part of the screen right there. Daniel Christoph keeps his pace 40 seconds, 30, I, I repeat for, for you guys, 40 seconds away from P2. That is a monster 
monster, monster performance from Daniel Christo at the moment. I don't want to jinx to him at the moment, I said. So I'm not jinxing Daniel. <laughs> you never know. As we Roman speak, as we speak power. Nick Westy on the tail of his teammate Robin Taylor. This is, going to, this is going to be really interesting. I think Costas lost time with the with the car he had to pull up. Let's see what he does. Then got the best uh, exit there, but let's see. He has a better car at the moment for sure and should take advantage of that. The more lap we go through it will be slow. Car, uh, sorry, Robin Taylor car is looking for more truck and this is a bit a bad mistake because right now Quest is going to be able to have the DRS open. Here he comes inside. Let's see if uh, Robin Taylor tries to defend. No, probably he just waited on the outside there. Okay, everything's fine. Probably um, Robin Taylor didn't fight that much against yeah. his teammate. He still should lose slightly, but still better than losing four seconds. Uh, Maybe we are going to see like a, a Carlos Sainz uh, strategy from Nick Westy to wait for Robin Taylor and giving him DRS to defend himself from uh, Carlos. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see how it goes. Uh, they lost. Uh, Nick Westy! Almost a second in the middle sector for, uh, with the battle. But. Uh, oh, Robin Taylor is pitting. Oh. Robin Taylor in the pits for the last. He didn't find himself well with these medium tires. He was lacking pace, but this just means one thing: Costas can do us in everything P3, and I don't know if Johnny Gutierrez will be coming out. Yeah, he's coming out in front of Robin Taylor, and he got right. He's still on the track, still <laughs> hasn't beat. He's gonna do the full race with the same tire. No, maybe I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he pitted. No, he pitted. He pitted. Yeah, he pitted. 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 Okay. Ah, never mind. Surprised. Would have been the yeah. longest stint. So, the, these cars are looking like um, the Formula One manager cars, which have a lot of. How can it see banking when they turn in and out? You, you see the car is not... Uh, from the outside I think you see the camera like this, that's the reason. Yeah, but yeah, I can understand what you mean. You still have to consider that this is... There is nothing official on the Factor 2. Yeah, yeah. And being one of the best mod out there is the only thing you have. Uh, the only better mod than this is the one FSR use that's the official esports but uh, I think nobody can get that one if I don't remember if they use this one but with some adjustment but still this is the best option you can have so Costas Kanzura at the moment is 3.3 Second behind Equesty, and they are pretty much running the same pace. Half a second faster, I think Equesty can defend himself, maybe. Can Robin Taylor gain in second? I don't think so, but in 12 lap, uh, pretty difficult, but still, uh, most likely he will end up. 
behind Johnny Gutierrez at the moment because Johnny is still going fast because Johnny pitted 5 laps, 10 laps ago, 5 laps ago and going until the end is could be fine for him Yeah, the, the field is pretty much spread at the moment, so we just hope for Costas to reach Nikwesti and give us some final laps with a little bit of battle. Because um, at the moment, to be honest, nothing is happening. Uh, or at the, the moment, it's more about uh, keeping up the pace and focusing on I can get the guy or no, and don't make mistake because. You can be gaining one second a lap, and then if you make a mistake, you're out of the race. Yeah, absolutely. And right uh, now, like Costas is gaining. Rockmin has bugged. I see him uh, into the pits from one minute and thirty-four, yeah, which sure. is a lot, but I don't think he is. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. The, the Fastest lap the by Robin Tero. He actually. But now Daniel is not getting the extra point. If I was Daniel, I would pit and again. Most, most, most important is not getting the crash lap, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> For the kind of performance I mean, he can do that. He I mean, he can, if he wants, he can do that. So. He can do three pits up if he wants. Yeah. But would you do that? I mean, yes, I would do that. I mean, uh, you have to You're winning. You are. Basically, uh, if you are winning with 40 seconds of gap, there. you did something different. I no, mean, no, but I mean, would it be wise to change your tire and go for a faster slab? Considering that you can, we saw how easily you can mistake with the scars we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six DNS. So, I, I would mean, say if you did 43 laps. And you gained almost 45 seconds, you know what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, it's not the fast lap that will make you do a mistake. I would beat any day. You're only gonna lose 60 seconds, you're still gonna pull out ahead, you will have new fresh tire, a less chance of making mistake. That's the only thing you have to be careful is just not getting any hit limiter. Issue or hmm, if he moves there from Jules Silva, but Costas is 2.3 seconds behind me. Questi Costas is doing a great race as he did in Albert Park. Costas is actually proving that he's very consistent and. He can actually be up there and fighting for the championship and doing P3 today or maybe if he can get the quest in the last part of the race. Uh, will he to be honest, I think he will he still have 8 laps to do. Um, if he doesn't do any mistake, I think that the last 3-4 laps can be a tough a tough fight for and considering Westy. that Nick Westy got even this pop and go, that was very unlucky. Uh, P2 would have been very easily for Nick. Maybe Nick could have fought it for the P1. He was 2.7 seconds before the pit stop, eh? so not that far. Yeah, he from... was match two, and uh, Gilles, can he be? Yes, he can. He went slightly wide, yeah. But um, With the other Yordak brother, maybe. I uh, don't know. If it was. No, the other the Yordak brother. Uh, hold on. Yeah, maybe yes. Yeah, it was Marius. Yeah, it was Marius. After almost one hour and a half. One hour and forty minutes is physically very painful. So, so don't lose focus and all the other stuff. Uh, 
for them it's very important to be very concentrated on this last six laps seven laps that are left and especially from and Nick West he was getting chased Robin down Robin Peter is gaining a lot on Johnny Gutierrez yes just because of the new tires but uh, eight seconds uh, I personally don't think he's gonna lose second Uh, most likely he's gonna be very close, but uh, making a move like that uh, that fast is gonna be another story. Yeah. And Kanzuras, Kanzuras seems to have finished his uh, fire, his gunpowder is kind of finished. Because it's now steadily 2.2 seconds behind from Wesley. So maybe, maybe he is. Uh, he, he is getting backwards and thinking, okay, I got P3. This is quite good to me. I, I don't need to do anything stupid to get P3. Or maybe just. Westy got back into his space and is now opening that gap again. Maybe a combination of both. Now, actually, Hostas is, is pushing a lot. Uh, he did consider not doing any mistake in the last four laps. Just to be greedy and get that P2 has the pace but Becker can be very um, easy to chase down and at the same time very difficult because they are matching each time so well that now making a mistake can be very easy but I mean, Let's see, I think they are actually requesting on this star yeah, I mean, 40 laps. What Kanzuras need is just a bit, a, a little Westy mistake and he can be right on his tail. Yeah, Westy is, easy, so. is very, he has been very uh, a long time on this set of star, so for Westy to matching this lap time is very difficult at the moment. And he gains half a second. I'm going in the eight. That Alfa Romeo is looking bigger and bigger in the mirrors of Nick Westy. And this is quite a scary moment when you see the car behind you getting bigger and bigger in your mirrors. Oh no. Who's there? Yeah, it was Nick. It was Nick oh. Westy. Oh. What were we saying, guys? Just a little mistake. This is the worst moment possible. And it is not because we are, like, we can see the future. That's but all because of the time. There's like. nothing you can do about that. He did a miracle last stint. And the last 20 minutes when these stars. Absolutely. We were saying to you guys that if you just keep seeing the cars in your mirror getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you are put under a great amount of pressure because in that case, pacing is easier than being in front. So probably Nick Westy lost his patience, his coldness, and just made a bit a little mistake that is costing me costing him right now the first place but still he's into the DRS zone so nothing is over yet as Costas Conduras has to lap uh, the Alpine who just gets out of the way in a strange place to do that I mean in the middle of the corner after the break uh, you would have lost 
last time it did it for the break. Actually, it's very difficult to judge sometimes, but still, at the moment, it's very close. Hope we can have a photo finish. But he will struggle now with this tire. Yeah, Nick is definitely not giving up. This is kind of hard for me. I mean, he's like a samurai or a warrior. He's trying to fight a lost battle with without the new tires that uh, Kansas has, without the compound, with with a harder compound. He's still trying. To to apply pressure on the cruisers because I mean, if West is a mistake, now Kanzuras is in the place where he does not have to make a mistake. So, anything can happen because seven tenths, six tenths is up the peak of a gap. Yeah, anything can happen, I think, except of Daniel Kristoff crashing something. Look at Nick. It's gonna be very tough. Uh, Nick is wow, he's doing great, great. Those stars are very old. And Romy Taylor is. I oh, made a mistake in the first sector now. Uh, he's four five seconds away from Johnny Gutierrez, so not bad as a recovery, even by him. And considering that he did an extra pit stop than the other, super great. Team cards right, 10 seconds. Uh, I think the Haas, apart from Johnny, who was very good at the end there, uh, they struggled a lot with the setup today. Robin Taylor, Ironic, I see, sorry. Four tens, and there are still two laps to go. If he pull out two with the move on the last lap, that would be so great for him and for the championship. They would gain a lot of champion points on Tim Cartwright, who's gonna gain only at 5, 18, 12. Eight points today. That's gonna be very painful for him. The gap is still four times. Nick Westy is doing great. Uh, I don't know why the mistake happened there. Because now it's so great that. Costas, even with the new tires, is not going away. And there, oh, I think that Nick has the trigger ready to be pulled on the last lap. Uh, he has to be as close as he can after back to back. I think he has to be inside the half a second to half a second, yeah. To hoping to to do our overtake there. going to be very difficult but I would try anything I can 
Even if you lose the B3, never know the championship is long. Maybe you lose at the end because of those two points. Uh, it seems to be far from what it should be, but uh, not a good exit, I think. Yeah. No. He should have another lap. He will have another lap. So if he wants to do that, he needs a perfect ending lap, final lap. It's actually Bristol probably just going out for a... Uh, we, in, Italia, in Italy we say a passeggiata di salute, uh, <laughs> which means a healthy walk. Costas, look at Costas, probably kept something for the last lap. He knew that and he's, he, keep, he was keeping something for the last lap. He tensed up and he's trying to push away and pull away from the quest. Great job by Costas and for us. And as we speak, I think that Daniel Christophe is close to the end. I think he, he deserves the yeah, and he wins. Dominate. He's not winning. He's dominating, and probably doing uh, another layout of the track, a shorter layout. Because I don't find any other reason why he won with one minute of uh, advantage. You were missing the 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 Red Bull today. You said. <laughs> yeah, then we still. Next time we took the Red Bull and did the Max Verstappen thing. Uh, just this is not right. And the quest here, I think, is too far away to try something. Really tried to send the car at the last two. Oh, he's trying to. <laughs> he's trying to. Nice attempt, Nick, but this won't be enough to overtake Costas. Costas Ganzura securing P2 with an amazing race, amazing strategy. And Nick Westy getting this P3 after a bad luck in uh, the first race. Johnny Gutierrez P4. Quite close. Johnny Gutierrez was actually Not close. Far in. Away. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was actually gaining on Costa Seb West. Yeah, because they were fighting. That's the reason. And Robin Taylor securing P5 2 Cartwright closing in the P6 uh, with a, a strange strategy, to be honest, with a lot of laps on the medium tires. Rock Comina P7 with the Ferrari, which is unluckily not competitive even in the. <laughs> In the simulators, but great race by Rocco, uh, which fight uh, um, with the, the same weapon part? with him covered yeah. in the first part of the race. So, uh, great job behind him. I think that's, I don't know if it's Jill's or um, your mark, I think they already finished. Depends on where they were, yeah, they finished because it depends on where they were on the, on the track. So, let's. Get quickly the finish result because otherwise we are gonna lose it from the game. So there you go. We got Daniel Christoph in the win, Costas doing P2 and Nick Westy P3. They're gonna go in a lot of points on Team Cartwright and they will be very close in the championship. Most likely Daniel Christoph is gonna be leading the championship. He didn't got the fastest lap. If I would have, if I was him, I would have gone for it. But still, nice effort, fantastic. He didn't got the Grand Slam even with that gap. Uh, Tim Cartwright, uh, Robin Taylor, Tim Cartwright, Rocco Mina, Stefan Wenham, Marius Yode, and Gilda Silva, and then we had all the DNF: Daniel Yode, Lewis Middleton, John Guest. Michael Labelle, Lauren Martin, Phil Brown, who was very unlucky. Otherwise, I believe Phil Brown would have been in the convention. Considering where Johnny Gutierrez ended up and all the other guy. And I think this will sum up this event. Round 2 of 
Aptara Formula One Championship hosted by SRO. And we, guys, in times of two weeks, Bar Franco Champ. Bye bye.